And what's cracking, you guys? Welcome, welcome to this BitUnix tutorial series. Now, I will try and keep this as short as possible, as to the point as possible. If you are looking for timestamps, of course, you're going to find them in the description below. Now, I have been using BitUnix for some time, and I have been loving my experience. Here are a few plus points that I think you are going to like as well. Number one, no KYC just yet. So irrespective of which country you're in, you should be able to use this A-OK. -okay. Now, of course, if this changes, I will let you know, but for now, you're good to go. Number two, there is no clutter. The biggest issue I have with many exchanges is that there's just too much going on. Crypto is intimidating as it is, so when the exchanges get intimidating as well, people don't tend to trade at all. All right, so what I really like about this is that they keep it very simple. You can either buy your crypto from a third party, you can, well, put on spot trades, put on futures trades, and yeah, there are some trading competitions if you guys are into that as well. The third thing I like is that, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there is a theme this cycle, and that theme is the meme theme. And what I've been noticing so far is that BitUnix has been pushing out a lot of meme coins. They've been listing a lot of meme coins. So we are now able to trade a lot of meme coins on spot as well on the BitUnix exchange. All right, so you don't have to be trading on chain. You can do it right here on the exchange. Now, here's what we're going to be going over. I'll be showing you exactly how to create an account. I will then show you how to deposit funds into the account, and then we'll be spot buying a meme coin. So let's go. Now, first things first, you got to make sure you have the right link to the exchange. There are a lot of scams out there, and the last thing you want is to fall victim to any of those scams. I will be linking the exchange in the description below. If you use the link in the description, you can get up to 5.5K in bonuses, as well as discounts on your trading fees. Alrighty, so if you're looking to trade on here, then definitely use the link. Now, as soon as you navigate onto the page on the top right hand corner, you're gonna find the sign up button there in green. Go ahead and click. Now, once you've clicked that button, you're gonna be taken onto this page where you can now create your account. So you essentially have to go ahead and fill in the email that you wanna use, okay, while logging into your account. A very, very strong password. And now the referral code right here, if you use the link in the description below, then this would have been filled for you automatically. All right, this is what's gonna get you those discounts on your trading fees. If you have not filled in the referral code, then to get the discount, it's Mango Crypto is a referral code. Now, as soon as all of that has been filled out, all you gotta do is click on claim rewards and your new account would have been created. There will be this verification step where they would have sent you a six digit verification code to the email that you provided. Go ahead and get that code that was sent to your inbox put it in right here on the screen and then click on access bit unit. Now the next step is to deposit funds into your account. And to do that, all you gotta do is click on that big green deposit button right there. Now I'm looking to deposit USDT into this account. So I'll be selecting USDT. Now make sure that you have the right network. Now because I'm looking to deposit USDT from my Phantom Solana wallet, from the network dropdown, I'm gonna go ahead and select Solana. Now BitUnix gives me my deposit address. All I gotta do is copy this address, get into my Solana wallet, paste it there and send the funds through. But make sure you have the right network. The network that you are sending the funds from should match the network that you're depositing funds into. So now let's go ahead and buy some spot crypto on the BitUnix exchange. <laughs> now to do that, I want you guys to look at the top menu. We're looking at spot, which is the fourth option from the left hand side. Go ahead and click on spot and it will take you to the spot trading interface. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and filter out the coin that you're looking for. Now, BitUnix has a total of 241 coins, 245 pairs, and a pretty high trust score of 8 on 10. Now, you can find this information on CoinGecko as well as all of the spot markets that you can find on the BitUnix exchange, so you can go ahead and check it out. I will. From this list, let's go ahead and filter out PopCat. P-O-P cat is the ticker. All right, so here it is. Guys, always make sure that you have the right coin selected because the last thing you want is to be placing a trade or buying an asset that you did not intend on buying. So now that I've gone ahead and selected PopCat, I can verify if I'm looking at the PopCat chart by looking at the chart itself. All right, you can see the ticker right here on the top left hand side. Popcat USDT. Now it just so happens that today the markets are pulling back. I do believe we're getting into the next phase of the bull market and what we're seeing right now are pullback opportunities across the board. Now this is currently the Popcat chart. I do believe that Popcat can actually come down a bit further but I'm going to take the trade anyways considering that this is a tutorial. So now if you're someone actually looking to learn how to read the charts and learn the finer points of technical trading then I definitely suggest checking out either the Sprouts program if 
you're a complete beginner or the seed program if you want something more advanced and if you want to start taking your trades to the next level essentially actually making it a proper source of income so go ahead and check it out i'll be linking both programs in the description below now since i'm placing the trade next i'm going to get off screen that way you can see the entire interface as i place the trade now what i'll be doing is i'll be buying some popcat right here right now for that i'm going to scroll down okay we're looking at the buy side of the order card Okay, I'm going to place my bid on the second list right here at $1.39. We are placing a limit order. Remember, limit order is essentially going to be placed on the order book and you're then waiting for your bid to get filled. That is your bid to buy some PopCat. In contrast to the limit order, we have the market to order. Essentially, if you place a market order, your trade gets filled right away. Okay, at the best price the market can give you, you get the PopCat token immediately. However, for the sake of this demonstration, we are going to be placing a limit order. I'll be placing it on second on the list at $1.39. You can see that prices are moving down as we speak. And let's just say I'm looking to buy $100 worth of PopCat. All right, so now this order actually showed up directly onto my open orders list without even giving me a bit of a verification. Oftentimes what happens is that when you do place a limit order, Okay, I often get a pop-up saying, please verify your order. Verify that this is the bid price that you actually want. Verify the quantity of PopCat you want to buy. Verify the amount of USDT you are paying. Because what if I actually missed out the decimal on here? I mean, suddenly my order price is no longer $1.39. It's $13,907. Okay, and it's $13,907. Right, so you do not want that. It's called fat fingering your orders. So to make sure that you don't fat finger your orders, okay, and you have the right numbers in, please, please, please verify your orders before hitting the buy button because BitUnix is not going to give you a pop-up asking you to verify your numbers. All right, I've gone ahead and placed the order. You can see there's an open order on my list right here at the bottom of my screen. Okay, that is where you're going to see all of your open orders and any order that hasn't been filled just yet. You can see that I'm looking to buy some PopCat at $1.39. The tokens that I'm going to get in return is 71 PopCat tokens, and I'll be paying a total of $99 for those tokens. Now, there are a few things to note on here is that I can't just simply move or edit the order straight from the chart. I know you can do that on some of the exchanges, but you cannot do that on the BitUnix exchange just yet. So just a heads up on that. And also, as far as editing the order from just the open orders book right here you cannot do that either you have to cancel the order and then replace the order at whatever price you wanted to change it to all right so my order just disappeared from the open orders list so I'm guessing it got filled if I look at order history it should be right there and yes it is you can see that the top one was popcat I bought some popcat at dollar and 39 cents my bid got filled and I got 71 popcat tokens in return now, since this is a trade on PopCat, I'm looking to, well, buy low and sell high. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place a take profit bid. According to my read on the charts, I believe PopCat can actually make its way all the way up to, say, a $1.42. So remember, we're looking to buy low and sell high, but the action to take profit on your trades is to sell for a profit. So now to take profits, I'll be looking at the sell side of the card. All right, I'm looking to take my profits at around $1.42. Let me go ahead and change that to $1.42. Make sure you have the right order price right there. How much of my pop get am I looking to sell at $1.42? I'm looking to sell the entire position. All right, I have 71 PopCat tokens. I'll be looking to sell all 71 tokens and I'll be getting $102 in return. Now remember, BitUnix is not gonna give you a verification card telling you to verify your order. So you gotta make sure that you verify your order right now, right here. All right, I wanna sell at $1.42, correct. This is the price I'm gonna be selling at. Selling all my tokens. Yes, I'm looking to sell all my tokens and I'm gonna be getting 102 USD in return. Am I good with that? Of course I'm good with that. All right, so now I'm gonna hit sell PopCat. Perfect, now as soon as I do that, you can see that on my open orders list, I now have my take profit position right here. I'm looking to sell all my tokens, but at a higher price at around $1.42. Now this is just a take profit order, but trading guys is not a game of certainties. It's a game of probabilities. There is also a probability that prices could go against you as well. 
How do you protect from that? Well, for that, you have stop loss orders. Now, unfortunately, BitUnix does not have a stop loss function just yet. And quite honestly, personally, I don't use the stop loss function because there is an element of risk with stop loss functions as well. So what I do in those instances is depending on my TA, say I want to place my stop loss right here. If prices break down below a dollar and 36 cents, I know that I've been invalidated on my trade. I am wrong on my entire trade thesis. And so now I look to get out. However, I will look back into the chart to see if this region has broken, if prices have closed below a dollar and 37 cents and if that happens i'll just get onto the card right here and place a sell order at around a dollar and 36 cents yes for now your stop losses are going to be a manual process where you're gonna have to check back into the chart and come and put in a sell order to close out your trade now this is how you spot buy and sell on the bitunix exchange now every trade has fees associated with it so if you want discounts on there definitely use the link in the description below. Now in the next video I'll be showing you how to use the futures trading function on the BitUnix exchange. If you guys like this video and you think this might help someone else don't forget to like it, don't forget to share it, I'll now see you in the next one. With this trade safely, trade stress free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way, ciao you guys.